Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make and process your very own alphas in Blender. I'll also supply several free images as well as 5 coffee stain alphas for you to use in your own projects. So let's get started. Here's the super simple setup for those who don't need a walkthrough. Otherwise, let's start up a new scene. I'm going to delete everything and add in a plane. Next, add back in the camera and press Alt-R to reset its rotation. Then, move it up on the Z-axis. We're going to go into the camera settings and change it from perspective to orthographic. Now in the rendering settings, change the resolution to 2048 by 2048. You can hold Alt and drag this value down to apply it in both dimensions. Now, back in the camera settings, adjust the orthographic scale until the plane fills the whole view. Change the background colour to black, and give the plane a material. Go to the node shader, and delete the default principal VSDF, add in an emission node, and use Ctrl T to add an image texture into the colour input. Alternatively, you can add these nodes manually, but I prefer using Node Wrangler. Open up your image, the one I'm using is in the description below. You'll notice that it's not mapping correctly to your plane. To fix this, just regenerate UVs and make sure to apply the object scale if you changed it before. Next, we're going to align the face's UV to one of the coffee stains. Back in the shading tab, add in a color ramp node and tweak it to look like mine or until your subject is white against a black background. To get rid of these little specks, just clamp it down from the right. And to increase the alpha's brightness, change the emission strength to 9. Now we're almost done, but let's say we need to remove this little defect here. The easiest way is to add in a plane, scale and position it over the dot, then move it up on the z-axis so it doesn't clip, and give it a new material, but delete the principal BSDF node. We have our alpha. Now let's render it out and see how it looks. I'm going to use Eevee for this, because I don't need to use cycles. Perfect. Just as intended. Unfortunately, there's a bit of strange pixelation going on with my image. So, to combat this, I'm going to add some blur in compositing. Make sure you're using nodes and add a blur node. Then enable variable size and relative. I'm going to set my X and Y to 0.3%. Render it out and yeah, I think that's looking good. Save the image as a PNG and you're done. You can use an alpha as a mask between two shaders or materials. This is useful when adding details or decals to surfaces. Texturing programs like Substance Painter also use alphas as a way of selectively applying your brush, or once again masking between two materials. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Although sure, they often take me a few hours to make, so if you want to support me, you can find my art station and Instagram in the description. Thank you.